Have you ever wanted to create a box background for your text that would resize as you type? If you did, you are in the right place. This is Matimba Graphics and this tutorial is all about that. The auto resizable boxes for your text. This is very useful, especially if you're creating a template that you're planning to reuse multiple times in your projects. And this is a huge time saver, guys. So I'll show you two different methods in this tutorial. First method relies solely on effects, whereas the second method relies more on expressions, but does have some upper hands and advantages compared to the first method. So be sure to watch this video till the end, uh, see the both methods, then compare them and decide which one suits your needs better. So without further ado, let's jump in After Effects where I can show you how this is made possible. Let's start off by creating a new composition. You can name it whatever you like, I'll just name it text. 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second and 10 seconds for the duration is fine. Click OK. Now let's add some text. Go ahead and select the type tool. Click anywhere and type your text. I'm going to type welcome. Let me align it so you can better see it. First thing first, this is our first method that utilizes just the effects alone. So navigate to effects and presets tab and search for fill. And add the fill to the text layer. As you can see, our text is red now. And let's actually leave the color as red so we can better see what's happening. Okay, let's close this drop down so it's not too distracting. Next thing, we need to create some padding for our text. Next, we need to add some padding for our text. So the way we do this, again, we go to effects and presets, a search for CC Reptile and add it to the text layer. And right here, you can see four sides and select two. Right here, you can see the four sides and we need to select a value, something like that you would do it and add this value to every single side, just like that. And as you can see that it looks weird, our text is getting extended. That's exactly what this effect does. But in our case, this will be serving as a padding for our box. Now let's close this drop down as well. So it's not distracting us. Next thing we need to add is once again, so go to effects and presets and search for shift channels and add shift channels effect to the text layer. Then right here, when it says take alpha from you click the drop down from it and select full on. Once we do that, you'll see that our text is gone. We no longer see it. All we can see is just our red box. But we need to add one more and the last effect. So go to effects and presets and search for CC composite and add this to the text layer. And once you do that, you can see that our text is back and we do have that beautiful box around our text. And at this point, our tutorial of the first method is done. Let me demonstrate you that this in fact works. So if we select the text layer and type something, I don't know, different text, um, subscribe, you see the box adjusts and resizes by itself in real time. So we could do even some of the like, thanks for go to the next line, watching, boom, even something like this works perfectly fine. And if in case if you want to change the color of the text, so of course you select the text and go to the character options or controls and here you can you know, change the color in a traditional way. Yeah, simple as that. And as for the color of our box, we need to go to effect controls for our box drop and change the fill color to well any color that you like, something like this, you know, again. Either that like something like that you can see easy as for the second method let's create a separate composition for it so click the new composition let's name this text to and leave the same settings click ok of course we need our type tool again select the type tool and type your text something like text why not let me align this and in this method, we need to manually create a box uh, for our text. Uh, this is very easy. Go to the shape tool, select rectangle tool. Make sure your fill is selected to 
for any color let me just make it red so it's better visible and draw a shape like so you can align it doesn't really matter you can and you need to bring the shape down below the text layer on the timeline in order so we can see the text so we can even change the name of the shape layer to box just to stay organized next we need to go to content rectangle one click the drop down rectangle path and we need to hold alt and left click on the stopwatch here and by doing that we get access to expressions and right here don't get scared this is very simple just follow along i'll also leave this expression in the description so you can just copy or paste it in case if you're having trouble following it on your own so right here what we need to do is we type s equals and here you see this pick whip so we need to drag it to the text layer just like that this will automatically create a piece of code here we need to put a semicolon and then click enter to go to the next line here we need to write w equals s dot source and once you type source you see that you get different options so when you select source rect at time with parentheses select it and click enter then go forward with the arrow keys so go outside of the parentheses just like that and type dot width and put another semicolon click enter go to the next line and here we need to type h equals s once again same thing dot source go to this and click enter go outside the parentheses and here one main difference is that you need to write dot height put semicolon click enter twice to go two lines down and here open the bracket just like that and type w comma h and when you click away you'll see straight away that our box has resized to the size of our text exactly and uh, if just to demonstrate you how this works so let me select the text if you write something but before you do make sure that your uh, paragraph is set to center text let me demonstrate you if we type something as welcome you can see that our box resizes perfectly but you might notice that it is resizing to the exact size of our text which is not necessarily uh, what we want to do we want our box to be like sort of to expand more outside of our text so the way we do this is very simple. We go to our box and we need to click this button that says add. And here we need to select offset paths. So once you do that, you can see that it has already created some sort of a margin. And if we go to the offset path, click the drop down, and you can see that amount is 10. So this amount pretty much sets the, the padding or yeah, so the higher the number, higher the padding. Something like 20 is good enough. And if we preview this again and type something as subscribe, you can see that it resizes and everything's working perfectly fine. And here, the way you change the color of a text, again, you select the text and you go to, you know, the uh, character controls and this is how you change the color of a text. For the box, you select the box and make sure you're selecting the selection tool. And here you have fill and even stroke, but we don't need stroke for this. So, I mean, you could in, in, in theory, but yeah, you select fill and here you change the color just like that. And as I've mentioned at the beginning, uh, that this second method has some advantages compared to the first method. And one of the advantages is that you can you can see that these ang these angles are uh, square angles and well some people prefer and uh, want to have sort of rounded edges here uh, yes uh, but we, you were able to do that with the second method uh, well unfortunately you cannot do that with the first method so this is very simple go to the box click the drop down go to uh, contents go to again rectangle path 
and find the roundness it's set to zero so if we increase the, the roundness a bit you can see that our edges are getting rounded and something like i don't know 15 looks good so now you would have your you know a box background that has rounded edges so thank you just like that at this point we have covered the second method i really hope you enjoyed if you did leave a like under this video that really gives me motivation to upload more tutorials like this so once again thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one